It's been a mixed bag recently in league competition since our FA Trophy quarterfinal run, but uh, we're back into the FA Trophy for the semifinal doubleheader today. So prepare for that as we take on AFC Telford, who are in the playoff chase uh, here in the Vanarama National League. Hey guys, RC here, back with Play the Kids, our Football Manager 21 Youth Challenge. This is episode 30, and as I mentioned, we will be playing AFC Telford in a doubleheader uh, semifinal in the FA Trophy. Uh, the matches since the win over Hartlepool, uh, nil-nil draw against Dover. Eastley, we beat 3-0, Graham Williams with a brace, and then Harrogate, who we've played, uh, you know, off and on, uh, five to four. Mudge with a brace, Ireland and Tierney with goals. Uh, they got a second half hat trick from McCurdy Crook, uh, 64th minute uh, to equalize and 94th minute to win. I was not happy with the results. And our defense has gotten a little spotty as of late. A few clean sheets, but not uh, not what we really need to be doing. Competition-wise, uh, we have qualified for the playoffs. We are 18 points clear on equal footing with Gloucester, Forest Green, Chorley, Stockport. Very close race going there for second position. Uh, we still look to have the advantage for the automatic promotion, but we all know playing football manager, that could slip away at any time couple of things to note. Uh, let's see. It is uh, Carmichael currently has 16 assists, 19 overall. The club record is 20 set by Mudge. I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, but so he's only one assist away from equaling the club record. Also, we had mentioned last episode that the club record for goals in a season was 103, and you can see now with the 5-4 loss, uh, the four goals gave us 104 on the season, and so we have set a new club record for goals scored, uh, and I'm not sure I, what the point difference was 30. I'm, I don't know why I'm thinking 33 points last year. I'm not remembering and I didn't look that up, but I, you know, we're, we're right on the cusp of that 20 point, uh, advantage, uh, three losses in the last five for Gloucester, uh, one loss and two draws. So all the top clubs have been dropping points. Uh, the hot team lately has been Harrogate, uh, who are the club that beat us five, four. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see what they can do as they're four points out of the playoff position. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content. Let's get into the first match. All right, we're going to go with Humphreys in goal, a back four, Taylor, Hemmings, Tierney, and Izquierdo, Nuevo and Ellis in the mid, Ireland and Carmichael on the wings, Mudge and Williams up top. And we're playing this one away. So this is the away leg, and they've got a pretty good crowd. I like our stadium better, but uh, yeah, they've got a good crowd. Wow. We'll give them some encouragement here in the early going. And the first highlight goes to Telford. Oh, uh, what a punch away by Humphreys. That was nice. Carmichael challenges. Chested down by Taylor. And again, just poor distribution. There we go. Mudge with a good step over. He's into the box. And a good slide in by Freeman. Got the ball, knocked it out for a corner. But we know we're dangerous at these corners. There's the header, but it goes high. 
And yeah, we don't have many people that made the trip here for us. Carmichael. Oh, another deflection. Looks like uh, Brown got a foot on that one. We'll line up for another corner. Ten minutes in. Not much in the way of activity. That one goes high as well. And I am on the verge of, of moving to a different tactic just to try to shake things up a little bit. Even though we're playing well, you know? Over the top. There's Mudge. Crosses the keeper, but it's a good save. Williams is on it. Ellis right into the hands of Clark Barlow. And we have had five shots, two on six shots, two on target, but we are not challenging at all. Let's demand a little more from them. Good clearance. Mudge with the flick on header. Williams is on it. He's gotten past his man. And he oh, he just can't beat the keeper. They look they look just a step. Faster than us this match. I mean, I know it's the away leg, but I still expect to win this match. I mean, you know, we're dominating the league. This is our starting 11. We need to, we need to put one in, in, the, in the net. Flick on. It's Mudge, and Mudge scores. And it is in his 33rd of the season. I'm hopeful he can push on for 40. And, of course, uh, Williams is already at 40. And we could have back-to-back 80-goal -back seasons from our strikers. That would be incredible. Big goal. Away as well. By the way, let me know in the comments. I saw uh, in real life. Uh, the Football Association came out the other day and was talking about, and they've done away. Uh, Mudge gets on the end of that one. It's 2-0. AFC Telford, nil. Tiverton Town, 2. And it looks like they might be reviewing it. The linesman did not put up a flag. Yeah, he was, he was well on sides. Good job. Good call by the side judge. Um, but in the comments, let me know what you guys think about the FA doing away with away goals. And I believe that starts next season. I believe that's next season in effect right away. So that'll be interesting. Humphreys comes out and controls that one. And if we can just slow it up a little bit, or get another goal, we'll be in a good position. Oh my goodness, Robin Mudge, he's got a hat trick here in the first half. What a match. I can't take him off, because, even though he's on a hat trick, because now I need him to get more goals to push for that 40, right? Oh, what a play, though. Playing a 9-8. And Williams, oh, Williams has been taken down hard. Is that going to be a second yellow? It is, and he is off. We're going to be a man up for the entirety of the second half. And we've controlled this one. 13 shots, 7 on target, just under 2.xG. Outstretched arms, delighted with your performance so far. Let's praise him. There's a good clearance, at least back across the midfield line. Good control there in the mid for Telford. I think that's a position I would like to strengthen. I'd like to get, you know, a better... Our, our starting central mids are good, but we don't have much in the way of depth behind them. So I really want to develop or get another central mid that can be in that mix. Ellis is really good. Nuevo, he's more of a number 10. And I'd actually be happy moving him on um, if we can upgrade at that position. Uh, Ireland, I don't have... Damn it, I forgot to do that again. You know what? 
Let's switch him over to a winger on support. I forgot to do that again. Damn. Let's go ahead and rest Williams. I'm going to keep Mudge on. We'll bring Doyle on for him. Uh, you know what? I am going to bring Scoby on for Ireland. And we will make him an inverted winger on support. Because now he's playing on the opposite side. They're taking a couple of cracks from long range. They've all gone high. A lot of crosses from that right side. Nuevo runs it down. Gets it back into Ellis. Scoby. Looking for somebody to make a play. Over to Carmichael. Now Carmichael on the verge of an assist record, so he would like to get in. And that one's knocked away. And we'll take a corner there. Headed out. Carmichael's back on it. Oh, there's a crack from long range. Nuevo. Uh, you know the word that goes here. Optimistic. <laughs> All right, who do we have? Uh, Carmichael is tired. Let's do that. And I'm going to bring on Curtis Brunt. We'll give him some playing time. It is out of his position, but maybe he can uh, start learning a little bit there. All right, let's, uh, let's focus now. Close this out. Looked like they were getting a set piece from just at the edge of the box, but. They didn't even show the highlight. Oh, the header goes up, and we lose it. Lee cuts through the channel and gets it past Humphreys, his fourth goal of the season. That was a good shot. We're into the 93rd minute, three minutes of stoppage time. Whistle should be coming. There it is, and it's Telford 1, Tiverton 3 in the away leg so that is great nobody gave us a chance i don't know why not all right that bodes well for the home leg i hope so we'll come right back for that i do have one league match to play off camera against warrington so let me go get that done we'll come back check out that score and then we'll be back for the second leg and then we play telford in back-to-back -back games so three out of four incredible all right we're back for the second match of the semifinal but we do need to catch you guys up on some transfer news uh rowan bacon one of our young players uh he's 17 now he's a left and right defender he's gone on loan to havant and waterlooville till the end of the season and then my director of football brought a player in uh alamani alamami bakar suma from kidderminster uh he's in on loan uh, he is a center back, six foot two. Uh, he's got decent enough pace. Uh, he's got pretty good, you know, positioning, heading, marking, tackling are all okay for this level. Three star current, five star potential. Would have loved to have signed him on a permanent deal, uh, but uh, he comes in on loan through the end of the season. And I did mention that center back and central mid were two positions I would like to try to address. Uh, and you might be asking, well, RC, why didn't you address Central Mid? Uh, that's why, because we are already $7,000 over budget, and I don't have any transfer budget to move around. So that's making it difficult. I, I really need to get that back under control. And if we look at the club vision, you can see that uh, we are struggling to work within the payroll budget, but they are delighted to get with everything else for the most part. We're going to go with Humphreys in goal, a back four of Hugel, Hemmings, Izquierdo on the right, and Bakar Suma is going to get his debut with the club. Nuevo and Bliss in the central mid. Mudge will slide out to the left wing just due to injuries and suspensions at this point. Uh, Ireland is not fully fit, so uh, we're not going to risk him today. Uh, could put him on the bench, but we're going to put Mudge out there. Doyle's going to step in up top. And let's get to it. He is going to have to take a squad number. He gets number six out of the bin. So that, uh, at least it was close to his number, right? I want you to leave your mark. 
All right, let's encourage him from the start. Hi. All right, they get the first highlight, which they got last match. His Cuerto goes up for it, and there's Carmichael. Carmichael still looking for the assist lead. And he takes a crack. I think he could have slid that across to Doyle. I think there was enough room to do that. But he's wanting to get on the score sheet, and I understand that. Bliss, quick first touch, and it was not great. Goes right to the other team, and there's a nice ball. What a save by Humphrey. Hugel's over to control that. But they are looking the dangerous side here. Five to two advantage on shots in the early going. Oh, Doyle finds Williams. He cuts behind Freeman. Oh, and it just drifts off to the right of the post. We needed to do better there. Williams has been a little quiet. Oh, and Humphreys just tracks that one like a center fielder in baseball. Hauls it in with no problem. We did get an offer for Nuevo. Uh, now, he's only 18. He is five star, four, four or five-star potential. And I, I countered it. That was a poor first touch by Doyle. Um, uh, Williams is through again. And uh, just tipped aside, I'm not sure that would have been on target. So we countered the offer. And Tony Doyle puts one in, but there's a possible offsides. No, he lumps it out. Looks like we have that one nil advantage. I think they're going to show us a... No, they're not. We've got the one nil advantage in this one, four to one on aggregate. Uh, the other club came in and accepted the counter negotiation, and uh, so the board, so it was accepted, and he rejected their deal. So uh, we have, you know, being that we're first in the league right now, looking at automatic promotion, we've seen quite a few of our younger players that have been getting offers, uh, rejecting them. And even on the deals that I'm looking at trying to take, uh, they're they're not biting that bait, you know. They're they're turning it down. So that's good, I guess. But it does make it relatively hard. <laughs> Flick on header. Williams is on to it. Oh, and he sails this one up into the cop. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's. Uh, Let's demand more. All right, there's Mudge. Doyle. Cleared away by Lee. And Hemmings is outplayed by Benson to get to that ball. Gives us enough time to get back on defense, though, so that's good. And there's a cross in. And I th think Humphrey's got a hand on that. No, it's a goal kick to us, so that's good. We've come back in this one, 9-7 to seven advantage on shots, 4-2 to two on target, and we hold that 1-0 advantage at the half and 4-1 to one on aggregate. Things are looking good. Let's uh, hands in pocket. You're winning. Don't let that happen. They're motivated, except for that one guy that's complacent. That's all right. All right, let's praise them here. They like that. They like the praise. Okay, here's Bakar Suma. First time we've really seen him in action. It is his debut. Oh, what a finish by Graham Williams. 45th goal of the season. That was a 25-yarder from outside the box. Beautiful finish, and that should seal it for us. I don't see him coming back and scoring four goals, but never say never, right? Hemmings heads it over the bar. He's been quiet on set pieces for 
quite a run now. Oh, uh, look at all the guys in the six yard box, and Humphreys had to go diving for that. Nobody made a play on the ball. That's horrible. Two to one, Tiverton advantage in this one. Yeah, Hugel almost got in the way of it. You need to sacrifice the face there, buddy. All right, let's look at. Uh, we haven't made any subs here. So Macaulay Ellis, let's bring him in for bring him in for Bliss. Matt McDonald, we're going to bring him in for Nuevo. I'm going to bring Tierney in for Bakar Suma. Do I want to do that? Yep, I do want to do that. Just a bigger body back there, six foot four. He's got a lot of starts under his belt. So you can see now, just with this one lone move, now we've got Allard, Tierney. So, you know, we've really ex expanded our depth at center back. Carmichael needed to be less of a ball hog there. There's Tierney winning a header, but it goes to Lee. Oh, Humphreys with the quick ball out. Oh, uh, Ellis, come on, you need to do better than that. Let's demand more. Good clearance. I like that. Doyle runs on to it. Oh, beats his man. Nice. Crossed in, and it's Williams with his 46th of the season. Timberton 3, Telford 1, 6-2 to two on aggregate. Beautiful assist by Doyle. Two assists for him. Three minutes of stoppage time, and we are going to the semifinals of the FA Trophy. I think that is a huge accomplishment for us. Oh, we're actually going to the final. That's right, this was the semifinal. Oh my God, we're going to be playing for silverware. Haven't won silverware, but just once. And of course, we fell short in the other match. You can see our league form has been pretty shoddy. Only one win in the last five. Stockport, they've won four of five. Harrogate, after their good run, have dropped two in a row. Uh, they have rejected they rejected my contract offer. I mean, they could have just extended it. They didn't have to pay anything out right now. We get almost 29000 and we are heading to Wembley. When does that take place? That's end of the season, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, so we are going to, kind of like we did last year, we look good for automatic promotion. We're holding on to a 13-point advantage and, and two games in hand. So I'll sit down. I'll kind of try to work out the math, and we will come back, and I'll try to record any game that we have a chance to climb the podium. And then we'll have that match, uh, which we should climb the podium. I'm, I'm not expecting to lose that now. And also we will play the FA Trophy. So we'll have two, uh, two chances at podium next episode to end up the season. Let me know what you guys think. Do we have a shot in the finals? Not sure who we're playing. Let's see. Uh, we'll be playing uh, Dulwich Hamlet, and Dulwich Hamlet are not in this league. They're in the Vonorama South, and they're 15th in the Vonorama South. I'm really thinking that we should take that game with little to no risk. But, you, you know, you never say never, right? Never say never to that. I mean, they, you know, they did beat Maidstone, but they're 20th. They're last in the league. So top of the table against the lower, lower table. That's what we're looking at next episode, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content. Let me know in the comments how you think we'll do next episode with two chances at silverware. And we'll see you for that big event. Take care. Bye.